Now it's time to add the products page to our Chico's Cheese Bikes example. <laughs> In this exercise, we're gonna be adding a new product page to our Cheese Bike site, implement filtering and sorting of our product list based on selected options, and we'll also be experimenting with the AMP list component. And we're gonna practice using bound properties. Make sure you set up the environment variables in your Glitch repository. Just follow the README to do so. First, let's go ahead and make our products page accessible from our homepage by adding a link for the products page in the slide out navigation. To the index.html navigation menu below our story, go ahead and add a menu item that links to products.html. This new menu item should read our products. Now let's go ahead and look at the products.html page. The products page we have provided includes the AMP boilerplate code. It's going to also include CSS and AMP component scripts you'll need to complete the exercise, parts of the layout that are common between the product and index pages, like the header and slide out menu, and an AMP state and select inputs that allows users to pick different product categories or sorting options. The included select options already have the values the server expects for it to function appropriately. Now, let's look at the structure of the product data that we retrieve from the server. The ID and type fields are only used by the server, so you can ignore them for this exercise. The URL field represents the address of the product page. The image field contains a URL to a picture of this product. The stars field indicates the user ratings for the product out of five stars. The price field is the price of the product in dollars. Lastly, the description field is the product's marketing copy. During this exercise, you'll want to refer to the documentation for the AMP bind and AMP list components. Here are the requirements to build our product list. The product type select element should store its value in the category state variable in the AMP state component, which has products as its ID. The sort by select element should store its value in the sort state variable. Whenever the category or sort state variables are updated, the AMP list component should retrieve new products from the server. Use the query parameters category and sort to pass the filter and sort parameters to the server. Next up, these are the style requirements for this exercise. In the template, you'll want to add a div tag with a class product-card. Go ahead and set the size of each image to 200 by 150 pixels with responsive layout. Then wrap the text details in a div tag with class product-details. The product name, rating, and price can also be placed in P tags with classes product name, star rank, and product price. Now go ahead and pause the video and try it out for yourself. All done? Your code should look like the solution on the screen. Here, we show how we're updating our state variables. The product type input stores its value into the category state variable in the AMP state component with ID products. The sort by input stores its new selected value into the sort state variable. Here's a demonstration of how to update the AMP list component to render products. See how the endpoint URL is dynamically constructed using state variables.